Well, one local business is counting down the days to the end of construction out on Air Street, but there seems to be no end in sight. Sunrise reporter Emily Hamilton is live this morning from outside Sandy's Diner with details. Emily, good morning. Well, good morning, Jen. Yeah, some of you at home may remember a Christix News report on Sandy's Diner uh, several weeks back, and the owner, Sandy Clark, here tells me that while that report did help to bring some foot traffic back to her restaurant here, this continuous construction is still making it very difficult to make ends meet. Employees at Sandy's Diner have been serving up breakfast and lunch on Ayer Street for five years now. Sandy Clark owns the restaurant and waited tables here in Corpus Christi for more than 40 years, so she's no stranger to the hard times. And I think that I've made it five years by the grace of God and making amazing homemade food. But she says these hard times make it nearly impossible to operate her business. We have 18 wheelers going by and cranes and dump trucks right in front of the window and then we have a huge dirt pile in the back. Construction on Ocean Drive as well as in the Six Points area causes congestion down Ayer Street at all hours of the day. Clark says parking is her primary concern. Hungry customers have limited space to park on Ayers and Booty Street. Some loyal Sandy's fans walking nearly half a mile for a bite to eat. And when this project is finished, the front lot at Sandy's Diner will no longer exist. Clark says project managers told her work in her area will wrap up this summer. We spoke with the city for an updated look at project plans. In the Six Points area specifically, um, Ocean Drive is actually going to be done pretty soon, within the next month or so. Um, we're looking at mid-March. So once Ocean Drive is done, that'll help alleviate some of the congestion and traffic concerns that a lot of residents and businesses have. And as for Sandy's strategy to keep business alive for the time being? We're just making it worth the parking, so the food's got to be good enough that you're going to find a place to park. <laughs> And you got to love her positivity there. And on Chris 6 News, we'll continue to keep you updated on the completion of those projects. But for now, Sandy says she wants to thank her loyal customers for continuing to come back, some of them every single morning. Reporting live from Sandy's Diner, Emily Hamilton, Chris 6 News. All right.